what do you do? I'm a practicing cardiologist, and I'm starting a new, um, new way of practicing cardiology for the future. It's a, a brand new model, and I think it will work well, and it will work well with people who are interested in prevention and truly want the delivery of high-level health care. Yeah, so we kind of pay you in a monthly way, and then you take care of us as we have needs and guide us and make sure we don't get sick, and if we do, you help us at a SWAT team level. Absolutely, absolutely. The key is prevention, and then if someone has disease, the key is acting quickly and preventing sudden death and heart attacks. You're getting new business practices, coaching, expansion to make these models work, but you're also getting a load in of new patients, so it's worth, when you take the time away from your practice, you're making it back by loading in a bunch of new patients. Absolutely, so I'm getting patients, but more importantly, I'm getting the knowledge. I'm getting the knowledge of how to do the business correctly. I don't have that knowledge because I'm a professional and I'm a physician, we don't get any of that knowledge. So to be around experts in business, and learning the tools and techniques that we need for our business to be successful, such as sales, marketing, is very important. Well, it's a private exclusive club, and when you're here, it really fits the dignity of a lawyer, a CPA, a uh, healthcare professional. Absolutely, and I think for me, having come here, I've learned so much in the last four days. I'm taking it back, and I'm actually going to share it with my colleagues because my colleagues are entrepreneurs as well, and they have private practices and they're not employed, but we don't have this knowledge. So to share this type of knowledge at this level is crucial for us as professional business people. So I'm gonna take it back and have people consider uh, looking at this way of educating ourselves to the next level. So one of the instructors who's made the most difference for me is Harry Leg. He uh, did a presentation recently in my neighborhood in Maryland, and he said something really interesting. How much money do you want to get paid in the coming year? And I always think of it in terms of how much money does my business make? And it finally occurred to me, like, like an aha after being in business for 10 years, that I am not my company. I am an individual. What am I worth? What is my value? So now when I take a look at my business model for the coming year, I'm now looking at is what is my salary? So therefore, what does the company have to make in order to afford paying me my salary? I feel like I'm more solidly in business. And it was just wonderful advice along with other uh, tips that he's given me along the way. When I was at the meal tables, um, that was the very best time to sit down with some of the best experts uh, that, that you can find. Uh, from legal advice to uh, intellectual property to uh, how to strategically plan your business, how to actually look at people, how to uh, manage people better. Uh, so it's just fantastic information, a great time to listen to other companies, to listen to other things other people had to say, and get a lot of good valid uh, feedback from some of the best experts in this faculty. So I am just blown away by the folks that are there. I'm going to have the opportunity to be with uh, Greg Reed. Uh, in his new book that's coming out in the Make the Wish Foundation. So I think it's going to sell my uh, company as well, along with getting some notoriety and some validity to my business. I was impressed with two things. Number one is the cooperative nature of how people uh, sit and interact with each other. And I've been able to interact with people at a very high level of expertise in the business world who I don't have exposure to and I don't have access to. So that was very unique. And the cooperative nature of actually having them look out for my best interest is what impressed me the most. And anybody here has been approachable and I've really appreciated that. Just pointing on something, it's not easy. I mean, I see your daughter in the background and she's had, well, tell her about that experience, what it's like for Sophia, how it's helped her. So I brought Sophia here because she's interested in giving back, and we're just in the process of starting a foundation. We have How old is she? She's eight years old. So we needed some help as to how to do it in the right sequence. And we also needed some guidance and some mentorship for her. And she's gotten both of those experiences here. The one thing that I was very surprised with is how she would take to this. She's eight years old, however, she's enjoyed every moment she's been to at least half the lectures each day she's been here 
been paying attention and she's taken in a lot. Furthermore, she's made some connections here and a huge support system and she's also gained some advisors that are committed to working with her as um, advisors for her foundation. And I'll what, about, what about your foundation? Um, really, my foundation is to help people in need and what inspired me was when I was four years old, I saw someone um, on the sidewalk and um, I asked my mom, 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 can I have five dollars or more? And she and she, she said for what? And then she the light had turned green. She went through the light, and then I'm like for that person on the street. And then she's like, Oh! So I started throwing a fit. So she actually had to turn back and give them some money. Now you're forming a foundation. Are people helping you here? What's happening here? I'm getting a lot of guidance, and yes, people are helping me here. You know you can build this foundation with the help here. They'll give you, you know, advice and structure. They'll also give you money, right? Yes, to donate to the poor. This is, of course, a nonprofit foundation. And so, while you go to school, you'll be building this up to help people that uh, aren't as fortunate, right? Yes. Um, I might want to involve my best friend Amanda with this. Uh, she'll probably want to get involved with you. You know, you've learned here teamwork so important. I'd get maybe Amanda to come in so you could do it together because one and one make 11. One and one don't make two, they make 11 when you start getting that power going. People come here to share resources and to look for new knowledge and information to help move their business forward. Many times we get stuck in isolation or in our silos in our own business and we don't open ourselves up to what that next piece of information that we really need. And what happens here at CEO Space is the faculty is so diverse, it gives um, the participant and the member the ability to come back here and access faculty at different stages of development. If you don't come to CEO space, what happens is, is that you've got to do it by yourself or you've got to pay for multiple different services and you've got to kick the tire and, you know, kick the tires of a lot of different people, whether it's an attorneys or accountants or, or a, a financial manager or an investor. You, you don't know what to ask and, and all of a sudden you, you got no chance to practice. So the advantage is it gives you a chance to grow your business like you're hitting a ball off of a tee ball. You just got to practice and then all of a sudden you're thinking differently and then you're able to accelerate your business growth. How refreshing was it to see the teenagers and what is going on with young entrepreneurs that, you know, this is a, a treasure for those families. And you saw that with, you know, some amazing sharing, you know, that went That was uh, very important to me, and I saw that. That is why I brought my daughter here. And I know that the traditional educational um, community provides us with an education that's very important. However, I believe most of us, including myself, uh, after spending over 16 years of, um, of education after high school, I was financially illiterate. And I'm just starting to become financially literate. And that is a crucial, crucial part of our educational process. For the teens to get that education at their level is incredible. And my hope is that every teenager would have that opportunity and even younger folks. I have to tell you, Sophia's come back because she's a graduate here and she's tugging at me as you saw and she goes, I have to make a plug. Now you won't get that typically at eight, but here's the plug. See, learn and give a gift. See, learn and return and give the gift. Now what are you doing with this? Talk about this. Make it work so they can hear it. So we'll get an example here. It's a brand new toy. It's invented here. Stay close to the mic. So now what? If you, well, you've been selling these? Yes. And, and you sell how many, you get a free one? You um, buy two, get one free. And then if you buy one, 50% of what you buy will go to my foundation. So 
50% goes to your foundation, so you made that deal here. Did you know how to make those deals before, or did you learn that here? I learned it. So now you know how to make those deals to make your foundation work. Well, you know how great you Do you realize half of the successful businesses here are women? That you guys are hitting it out of the park? This is the time for you? Isn't that great? Aren't you excited? Yes, I'm very. And then you're going to get your girlfriend, and she will get it. And she'll ultimately come too. And so it'll just keep growing. And now you're a lifetime member. You can come forever. Do you know how much fun that is? So your daddy, he turned his car around to make sure you could get CEO space. What do you want to do to thank him? Well, I'd like to give him, really, all my love that I could possibly give him. And you saw that live on CEO Space TV. You want to know what we are? Uh, I don't have the words. I'm Bertie Dorman, and I so approve this message for you. One of the greatest sayings simply states that we are a reflection of the people we associate with the most, and our attitude, our income, and our lifestyle is the average of that group. In other words, hang around winners and you'll become one too. Hi everybody, this is Greg S. Reed and the reason I'm such an advocate of CEO space is exactly just that, the people you'll meet and the journeys and the stories that you'll hear about. One of my favorite activities is the meal times where you go knees and knees with other like-minded people to truly separate yourself from the 95% who just dream of success to that top 5% who actually achieve it. Come join us, won't you?